Never give up, and today I'm speaking to James. Nice to meet you, James. Nice to meet you, man. So, what can you tell us about Never Give Up? Uh, yeah, Never Give Up. It's like a super difficult, hardcore platform game. Uh, basically, you play the same level, but every time you beat it, it gets harder and harder. So it kind of ramps up the difficulty, and the game's trying to make you give up. Uh, so we've got this like little big. Uh, give up button at the bottom of the screen which is kind of like tempting you so you can press the give up button and it kind of skips you forward to the next level in the game but uh, it kind of makes fun of you and it kind of gives you a big rubber give up stamp on the level select and you know kind of you're not going to feel very good about it but so a bit of psychological torture yeah kind of psychological torture yeah um, yeah so it's like kind of yeah really difficult you kind of want to get people to learn the levels through repetition and slowly ramping up the difficulty. Um, and by the end you can kind of pull off crazy stuff because you've built up that muscle memory. Uh, yeah. Uh, so do you want to tell me a bit about the story to the game? Or uh, is this more just get in there? There is a story, we have like cutscenes and there's like a narrative kind of thing. Um, and we have like boss fights as well. I don't want to give too much of a story away because it's kind of like... Um, Spoilers. Yeah, but just like maybe like an early synopsis? Yeah, so well, basically your character wakes up and he kind of... Uh, He's not really sure what's going on, he keeps dying and he's not sure why he's dying and then he's suddenly alive again and he's kind of slowly realises that he's not in control of himself. Um, and then stuff happens and you know, discoveries are made and uh, yeah, that's kind of the very basic premise. And uh, I did get a chance to play it. Now the voice actor did sound a bit familiar. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps. Oh. Uh, did the uh, or Eager Raptor, as he's other way known. Did, did the character, the voice for Blue, who's the main character. Um, yeah, and we have other voice voice actors for different characters in the game as well. So yeah, as I said, there's like bosses, there's like boss battles. You're not necessarily fighting the bosses, but more running away from them and trying. To not let them kill you, but to stay alive. Yeah, but there are ways you can kind of like uh, jump on buttons and fire cannons at them, and all these different things. Each one's kind of kind of different, and you know, just freshens up the gameplay for a little bit, and uh, yeah, it breaks up the, um, the the iterative levels. Yeah. Uh, and so, what can you tell me about the art style? Like, why did you decide to go with this? Yeah, so it's um, we kind of got. Uh, clean vector style, that's kind of what we do with all our games, Massive Monster, we kind of like uh, cartoon, colourful, kind of bright graphics, clean uh, vector art style. Um, yeah, I guess it's just, this game's actually based on an old Flash game that Armour Games put out years and years ago, so that's kind of, that art sort of art style has carried on a little bit, but we kind of tried to modernise it and got loads of shaders and effects and stuff to make it look a bit more interesting. Um, yeah, we're pretty happy with how it's looking and lots of lots of depth there and parallax scrolls so it feels like a nice nice world. And so what's the inspiration? Uh, as I said, like because it's based on this old flash game, give up. So that's definitely the biggest inspiration is so Armour Games kind of asked us to bring the old flash game to like to Steam and do like a fully fledged real game, you know, as opposed to a, a free game that you play online. Um, yeah, and then obviously there's like Super Meat Boy is definitely an inspiration. Um, people have said M Plus as well, which I haven't actually played myself, but it's similarity, similarities to that. Um, yeah, but so, very much the speed genre survived. Kind of. Yeah, so it's definitely like you know those kind of really difficult platformers like Celeste as well as a more recent one that was, we really enjoyed. Um, yeah, so but mainly it's the old Flash game and games like Super Meat Boy and stuff. And so, how's feedback been to the game? Yeah, really good. I mean, we have, so, like, it's, it's not for everyone, right? So we have, do have some people that are, like, throwing the contro <laughs> controller down in frustration. But there's definitely a lot of people that, people that like the Super Meat Boy games, stuff like that, seem to be really enjoying it. And, yeah, and lots of people that are, like, determined to beat the demo and uh, giving it a few different tries, and eventually they, they've beaten it. And, yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Really so it's good. very much for the platform, I've done Yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah, we've been really happy with how it's going down. It's definitely like, you know, because of how difficult it is, it's not for everyone, but a lot of people seem to be enjoying it, especially here at Res. You've got a lot of people that like indie games and like yeah. like a challenge, so, so yeah, it's been really good. Uh, and so have you got any plans for multiplayer for the game, or is this strictly single player? Yeah, just single player at the moment. Um, we do have like leaderboards, so you can see who's like got the fastest time on each level in the world, and you can kind of climb up the leaderboards, try and refine your, um, refine your times. There's no actual 
multiplayer, but that's kind of a, yeah, that's kind of the closest thing. But we're very much focusing on like trying to um, get speedrunners to enjoy the game. So all the levels are designed in a way that you can actually run through them all without stopping and waiting for anything. Everything t like all the timings line up if you perfect the level. So we definitely want to encourage people to like learn the levels, perfect them, do speed running, try and compete for fastest times, share their you know share their fastest times on YouTube, and climb up those leaderboards. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll have encourage some friendly competition. Um, yeah. So, and so, what's your hope uh, release wise? <laughs> uh, so we haven't actually announced the release date yet, but we're looking for. Uh, this summer, so it's probably going to be June, July. The game's pretty much done. We're just sort of doing last minute QA bug fixes. Uh, pretty happy with how it is now, so it's just the final little bits. Uh, but yeah, we'll, it's going to be in the next few months, so June, July 2019. Uh, and what are you hoping to release on? Is like just Steam? Or it's going to be on Steam, and um, we haven't announced any other platforms. Are there any hopes for other platforms? Or? Yeah, we can definitely expect at least one other platform at, at launch. Um, and then, yeah, depending on how well the game does, you might bring it to other consoles. Uh, but we haven't announced that yet. Yeah. And was there anything that you weren't able to get into the game? Like, because you said like you're essentially done, you're just Q&A testing. So is there anything that you had to part due to time constraints or...? Um, we, we have a level editor that we kind of wanted to include, but we it's going to be like a post-launch thing, just because uh, it's a lot of work to get it really accessible. Um, and just to make sure people don't break the game and stuff. So we, we, are, we do have that in the works, but it's probably going to be like a post-launch thing. Um, other than that, I think like everything, like we're pretty happy with how it is. We've got all the levels we wanted. And yeah, it's really solid. So yeah, um, I haven't really had to cut anything. Yeah. And aside from the level editor, is there anything else you're hoping to bring out post-launch? Or is that the main thing? Uh, yeah, I think that's the main thing. We'll see. Like If the game does really well, maybe we'll do sort of extra content. Um, yeah, it kind of depends. Uh, at the moment, we're just focusing on getting the game out and getting people playing it. Well, thanks for the interview. Nice one. Thanks, man. Cheers. YOLO! <laughs> I hate myself.